Cancer, what is up? It is your girl Kat, and we're going to be doing your love reading for the week. It is Water Sign Wednesday. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm still in my scrubs. I just got out of work. I'm very tired. I'm a little silly tonight, you guys. <laughs> we'll, we'll see where this takes us, okay? All right, let's see where we got. So, as always, I'm going to lay them all out and then we will interpret them, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Um, for some of you, I feel like there's a legal matter involved here. Um, I feel like it's a divorce. Some of you are going through a divorce. Okay, so we have the three of um, pentacles here, okay? Followed by justice and the seven of pentacles. So I feel like something is under, under, underway like it's um not under construction but it's in the it's in the works like it's it's going through a process right and i feel like it's a legal issue um some of you are just kind of waiting to see how this turns out how this plays out um for some of you i am picking up a divorce and I, i'll show you why in a minute here you're manifesting some changes, right? You're walking away from what no longer makes you happy, right? The cups are our emotions. He's clearly turning his back and walking away from, it doesn't make him happy anymore, right? It's a lot of jealousy, anger, fighting, conflict. I mean, like, there's just a lot of like, disagreements, squabbling. It's just, there's no security and, and, and stability to this relationship anymore. Your home life is being affected. Okay, the foundation that you built with this person is just, it's not there anymore. Like, it's dissolved into arguing, fighting, bickering, um, heartbreak. Some of you, the other person had somebody else, or you had somebody else. Um, but yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, this is, this is a divorce. All right, let's pull a couple more. Let's see what else we got here. The Nine of Cups, it's Wish Fulfillment. The Knight of Swords, Seven of Cups. The Hermit Mode. The Knight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. And one more. Page of Wands. Okay, that's why I pulled a lot. <laughs> All right. So I do feel like you're okay. I feel like you're okay with the decision to, to end this. Um, you're trying to be careful not to do anything too reckless. Um, but I do feel like you're in a hurry to just kind of part ways with this person because of all the arguing and bickering. Like your life is just not happy right now. They're making you really unhappy. Um, you went into the situation wholeheartedly hoping that it was going to be wonderful and it just has not turned out to be what you expected it would be. You're kind of alone a lot. You know, you feel like you're in your emotions by yourself. This person doesn't support you. Um, they don't, um, they nitpick you and I just feel like they're always at you. They, there's always a problem, right? They're never happy. All right, let's clarify some of this. I pulled a lot of cards, you guys. Did one fall? I got so much hair. Sometimes I can't see. <laughs> a lot of hair. <laughs> Look at this. It goes on my booty. <laughs> anyway. Um, all right, so is, is this a legal matter? Was it, oh, yeah, Look. Definitely, look, it's clarified by its damn self. <laughs> All right, so it's definitely under underway. So one of you has filed for divorce, I feel like, or has made the decision to leave the relationship, okay, if you're not married, okay? 
yeah the home life the stability it's all up for grabs right now you're manifesting the ending of this like like i said i feel like you're okay with this ending like you're you're ready to get away from this person because they just make you really unhappy at this point they're inconsistent it could also be somebody who's got kind of like playboy energy whether they're female or male it doesn't matter it's a player okay this is somebody who messes around on you possibly For some of you, I feel like they were they were um, using you financially. This person is very emotionally distant from you. Um, you don't feel close to them anymore. And that's part of the reason you've made the decision to move on because you just don't feel close to them anymore. They're out doing whatever they want to do. They're not held accountable for their actions. You know, yeah, you're walking away from this person. I think they cheated on you or they may have like a lot of people that they talk to online. Um, this person is not a good person, man. I'm sorry. They might have some good qualities, but they're not treating you right. They might drink a lot. They might go out partying with their friends all the time and just leave you by yourself, you know? I feel like um Yeah, you're by yourself all the time. Well, they're out cheating on you and going off with their friends or whatever. You want to move away from hard times and trouble. You just you're sick of this. You you you're not happy. Yeah. You've been kind of waiting to see how the situation's going to play out, hoping for the best, but it's just getting worse, I feel like, and you're just ready to... Um, I feel like it's swirling in the drain, you know what I mean? And you're just ready to just let it go. Yeah, you're making plans. Because you can't keep living like this, okay? You, you A lot of sleepless nights wondering where this person is, what they're doing, who they're talking to, you know? It's no way to live. You're just ready to just be happy again. I feel like cancer. Woo. <laughs> All right. So we have some undisclosed feelings. And yeah, there is one down here. Yeah, you've been hanging on for a while. I feel like there's some undisclosed thoughts and feelings here. Like you're not expressing how you feel. Because I think that you feel like this person won't listen to you anyway. Right? So this point. Um... Are you just ready to, to set some boundaries and just take a stance, stand up for yourself? Enough is enough, basically, is what I'm feeling. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what Oracle card. We, let, let's do the you and me. We'll do the you and me. All right. I want you to love me for who I am. Okay. Like I said, I feel like for some of you, this person was using you financially. They're cheating on you. They're treating you like crap. And you're saying, I want you to love me for who I am. Okay. You're going to go find somebody who's going to treat you better, who's going to appreciate you. Um, this is saying it. I feel ashamed of what I've been doing with my life. So for some of you, you feel embarrassed by the way this person has treated you. And you're like ashamed of this relationship. Um, like you've tolerated more than you should have. You didn't, you didn't stick to your boundaries. You let this person get away with way more than they should have. I'm trying to understand myself more. Okay. Yeah, I feel like cancer. I feel like you just want to get away from this. You don't want to be treat it badly anymore you just want to be happy you want to be able to sleep at night you don't want to like wake up in the morning worrying about you know who's cheating on me and all this kind of thing and you're just trying to like respect yourself more and and 
value yourself more, love yourself more. Okay, put yourself first. Um, because I feel like you let this person slide a lot. I feel like you gave them a lot of leeway. You gave them many chances. You try to be patient, understanding with them, try to help them mature and evolve, but they just can't do it. They're inconsistent. They play around on you behind your back. They have a lot of um, text messages, a lot of like numbers in their phone that like, you know, uh, probably saved under spam caller or whatever. And they probably go out drinking all the time. They're always off partying. They don't pay any attention to you. They don't care about the relationship. I mean, you're just better off on your own at this point, And you know it. And you're ready to just um, invest in yourself, focus on yourself, and love yourself more. And I think that's beautiful, Cancer. So I applaud you. Um, and I, I know this is all going to work out very well for you. Okay. Um that's what I have this week. If you want to be notified when I upload new videos, you hit the bell shape there and you'll get a notification. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, <laughs> hit that button. Come on, join the Scorpio Cat family. The more the merrier. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's what I have for you this week. I hope that you like that. Until next time, Cancer, take care. Bye.